<clears throat> oh, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're working on our bottom bracket bearings. Don't need that. Now, people will tell you, you got to buy new ones. That's false. I've been running these exact bearings for the last mm, three, four years. And nothing wrong with them as of well. yet. Yeah. As of yet. So, it's figured it's time to give them a clean again and give you a better look at it. Because I have done a video of this before, but here we go again. Starting with removing the seals, as they are plastic. Now you got them open, inspect them, make sure they're not broken, which they're not, so I'm still going good. Definitely need a bit of oil and grease, but we'll get there. Now, grabbing a tin, preferably one that you haven't used for vinegar or anything, and if you have, it was a good thing. But most times it won't do any damage. So, placing your bearings in. Sorry about the darkness. Get something to tilt it a little bit. And then get some turps. And cover. We need something to prop that up a bit more. Uh, what have we got? Frank calibers. That would be. Now that they're submerged, now that they're submerged. Let them soak for a bit, get a toothbrush, a bit of WDX-40, scrub out everything out of there, make sure you can see everything, all the silver, drop them back in, soak it for a bit longer, and when we get to that point, I'll be back, so here we go. Right, the bearings have been soaking for a little while, so get your trusty toothbrush, give it a bit of a rub on the inside. As you can see, all the grease is coming out.
Have you done that? WDX40. Just to pump out the uh, Just to wash out the turps a little bit. Then we head over to the taps. Nicely cleaned out. Alright, now that you got your bearings cleaned, all the way through, let's see, can we see through? Yep, there we go. Once you've got them to this point, it's time to give these babies a new drink. So, throwing oil. Um, this will actually do. Right. Put that one there, and one on there. Just let it go right through. Once you're happy you've got enough oil in there, usually once it starts coming out the base, we get a lovely grease. And we pack it. Not over pack it, but pack it enough that it's full. So Let's get to this part once I've cleaned up a little bit. Alright, now that your bearings have had a bit of a drink of oil, getting your grease, your lovely grease, and it's time. Hang on, put these one more time. It's time to fill them. Move that over there. Bring that in. Right. And filling up the insides. This is the messy part of the job. But it doesn't matter. Just keep feeling of the channel. A lot of it will come back out once you're done. 
got to protect your bearings, make your bearing last twice as long as it is actually having to replace them. Right, that's one. I'm going to spot the standard, doesn't matter. Grab your second bearing and continue. All right, now that you got both bearings filled, it's time to go and clean hands and then we'll come back. All right, now before we can continue, we've got to remember about our caps. So we might as well give them a bit of a clean now. Nothing special, just a general wipe over. And if you do need to give them a good cleaning, just get a bit of soapy water and a toothbrush. No. But otherwise, you just need to give them a good wipe. A bit of TLC wipe. Maybe even an oil bath, but highly don't think that's really necessary. Now, once you got them cleaned, place them back into the housing. And again, you're going to get covered in grease. Make sure you put all your grease back in before placing your next cap on. Yeah, it was really pretty was watch cleaning your hands. You'll see excess grease coming out, which is good. <clears throat> Get that wiped down. All 
on that. There's one bearing, hmm, 80% down. So, I'll just do the other one, and then we'll do the final touches, which will be running the grease through. So, once again, grab your bearing, grab your cap, place your cap there. How about we grab the second cap as well? Onto the other side. This will stop the grease from having to be put back in. You can see the excess grease coming out. This is why I said overload. Because it's going to help you. So we end up wiping this one down. And we'll get to the very last point. So, just clean it down. <clears throat> All you need is the excess taken away from the outside. Both bearings excess cleared. Remove like that. Now there is still extra grease in there still that needs to come out. Now you're gonna go, how do you get it out? Well, simple. Fingers in. And just roll it. Just roll it backwards and forwards. And all the excess will slowly just come out. And you just keep doing the process until it all comes out. As you see, excess grease. So it's coming out to minimal now. I'm actually happy with that. So let's get on with the second one. Now, once again, Excess grease that we don't need. Thank <laughs> you. 
minimal grease coming out, which is good. Now you can install your bearings. They are 100% ready to go, no problems. So, grease up the outside, slap these bad boys back into your frame, and you'll be all good. And there you go. Bearing back in the frame. And now last another. God knows how long before I have to do anything again. Yeah, where are ya? Well, so if this video helps you at all, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down the bottom. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.